In one London after meeting with the new British Prime Minister Rishi Sunak, NATO's Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg stressed the importance of making sure that Russia does not win the war in Ukraine. Uh, speaking outside Downing Street, Jens Stoltenberg also stressed that the alliance would support the country for, quote, as long as it takes, end quote, and said that Russia's President Vladimir Putin has made several strategic mistakes when he invaded Ukraine, including not anticipating the cohesiveness of the alliance's support for Ukraine. Jens Stoltenberg was the first international leader to visit the British Prime Minister's official residence, 10 Downing Street, since Rishi Sunak took office in October. Earlier in the day, Stoltenberg visited the Lloyd Army camp, accompanied by UK Defence Secretary Ben Wallace. Uh, the message is that we need to continue to support Ukraine. Um, if President Putin wins in Ukraine, it will be uh, disastrous for Ukrainians, uh, but it also uh, uh, make us more vulnerable because then the message to President Putin to other authoritarian leaders will be that they can get their way, achieve their goals by uh, using brutal military force. President Putin made uh, several huge mistakes when he invaded uh, uh, Ukraine strategic mistakes. One was to underestimate the Ukrainians, their courage, their uh, commitment to fight and protect their own country. The other mistake he made uh, was to underestimate NATO, allies, uh, partners uh, in uh, our ability. Over in New York, one of the most beautiful and historic cities in the United Kingdom, the new British monarch King Charles III and Camilla, the Queen Consort, have unveiled the statue of Queen Elizabeth II for the first time since her death. King Charles and Queen Consort Camilla traveled to York as part of a series of engagements around the UK. It was marking the start of the new king's reign. After attending a service at the city's cathedral, the new monarch unveiled the statue of Queen Elizabeth II, who died in September after 70 years on the throne. It, was, it is a seven feet tall statue and was designed and carved by stonemason Richard Bossons. The statue sits on the entrance of the York Minister and will stand in a new public square. It was a rainy ceremony in York. Now the new monarch depicted that the late queen was always vigilant for the welfare of her people during her life.